palace that's home to a king and his beautiful queen. But they don't live alone in that castle of stone. There are quite a few more to be seen. Two royal children, a prince and princess, give a helping hand to the queen. While the king has three pets, they're the strangest you've met. Three dragons, all scaly and green. To visit this palace, we don't have to go through woods or along rocky paths. There's a much quicker way, we just have to say, let's go, maths. Let's go, maths. Hello. Let's see which number our song is about today. There are one, two children, the prince and princess. So today's song is about the number two. Granny sent a parcel, it only came today. She sent some gloves to keep me warm when I go out to play. Would you like to see my gloves? Aren't they a lovely blue? Look at my left hand, look at my right. One and one make two. One glove, two gloves. Aren't they a lovely blue? Look at my left hand, look at my right. One and one make two. I bought a pair of new shoes when I was in town. They have laces up the front. I chose a pair in brown. Would you like to see my shoes? Aren't they looking new? Look at my left foot, look at my right. One and one make two. One shoe, two shoes. Aren't they looking new? Look at my left foot, look at my right. One and one make two. Two gloves, two shoes. I wonder if you've seen two of you. I expect you have, you know, when you look at yourself in a mirror. You see your reflection. Now, when we look in a mirror, we know that what we're seeing is just a reflection of ourselves. But if we'd never seen a mirror before, and we suddenly saw ourselves for the very first time, I think we'd be quite surprised, like the prince and princess were in today's story. The story is called, Look Who's in the Mirror. It was a warm and sunny day, and everyone in the palace was happy. Well, nearly everyone. The one person who wasn't happy was the king. What is the matter with you, asked the queen. You haven't laughed for days. I haven't seen anything to laugh about, said the king. So the queen sent for the prince and the princess. The king is sad today, she said. We must try to make him laugh. And the prince and the princess agreed. So off they went to think of a way to make the king laugh. The princess wanted to go somewhere she wouldn't be disturbed. So she went into the queen's bedroom and sat down on the edge of the bed. Then she tried to think how to make the king laugh. As she looked up, she saw something she'd never seen before. It was the queen's new mirror. As she looked into it, she got a surprise. There, in the mirror, looking back at her, was another princess who looked exactly like her. The princess ran off to find the prince. Come quickly, she said. I've just seen a princess who looks exactly like me. There are two of us. Two of you, said the prince in surprise. You must be dreaming. Come and see for yourself, said the princess, and she led her brother to the queen's bedroom. Look, said the princess, pointing to the mirror. There, looking back at them, was not only another princess, but a princess and a prince. Now there are four of us, said the princess. The two royal children ran off to find the queen. Come quickly, they said. We've just seen another prince and another princess who look exactly like us. The queen laughed. You must be dreaming, she said. Oh, come and see, please, said the prince and the princess. So they all hurried to the queen's bedroom. There, said the princess, pointing to the mirror. But when the queen and the two children looked into the mirror, not only was there a prince and princess looking back at them, but another queen as well. Now there are six of us, said the prince. They're looking at us. Perhaps they'd like to be our friends. If I wave to that prince, will he wave back? The 
Queen smiled. I'm sure he will, she said. The prince waved at his reflection in the mirror, and of course, his reflection waved as well. He is waving back, said the princess. Perhaps the princess will wave to me. So she waved at her reflection in the mirror, and of course, her reflection waved back. You wave, said the prince to the queen, so the queen waved too. They do want to be our friends, said the prince. May we invite them in to play? The queen smiled. I'm afraid you can't do that, she replied. The prince and princess looked very disappointed. You can't invite them in because there is no one there, explained the queen. No one there? But we can see them, said the prince. The queen shook her head. You see, that is a mirror. What we are seeing is a reflection of ourselves. The prince and the princess again looked into the mirror. The prince put his hands on his head. So too did his reflection. The princess pulled funny faces. So too did her reflection. Soon they were laughing at themselves as they watched their reflections in the mirror. Even the queen joined in as they each tried to pull the funniest face. It wasn't long before the king came to see what they were laughing at. We were laughing at the funny faces, said the queen, and she pointed to the mirror. The king looked. And there, sure enough, was a reflection of himself in all his finery. But, oh dear, his face was so serious. Whoever saw a king with a face as miserable as that, he said, and he started to laugh. Then the queen and the prince and the princess laughed too. They were so happy that something had made the king laugh again. I expect you've often seen yourself in a mirror, perhaps when you've gone to buy some new clothes, or if you're getting ready to go out somewhere special and you want to check that you look really neat and tidy. And you've probably noticed that whatever you look like, then your reflection will look exactly the same. If I look at myself in the mirror and I've got a happy smiling face, I get a happy smiling reflection. But if I've got a sad face, I get a sad reflection. There's a nice, happy, smiling face. I wonder what sort of reflection that happy face would get. Let's pretend that this line is a mirror. So this is my mirror line. This happy face would have a happy reflection. And this sad face would have a sad reflection. And I wonder if you can guess where the happy reflection to this happy face would go. That's right, it would go opposite the happy face. I'll jumble all the faces up now. And then I'll lay three faces on this side of the line. And then I can see what their reflections would be on the other side of the mirror line. But that's not quite right, is it? Because this sad face has got a happy reflection. And this happy face has got a sad reflection, so I think I'd better change these two round. Now, that's right. All the faces have got matching reflections. I think I'd better keep a smile on my face too, because when I look in the mirror, I think, like the king in today's story, I'd rather see a happy, smiling face too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Four cooks and their cookery books And to five little kittens Meow! Goodbye to six horses Seven drummers too Eight soldiers and guard by the path Goodbye to nine ducks Till again